Field Sports Nation member Joe Wood loves wild camping as well as fishing and shooting. Today he is planning an al fresco wild game meal using rabbit and venison he shot earlier. He's doing it bushcraft style. He's even made a stove out of an elm log. It's basically a Swedish torch, so it's, it's got a cross cut with a chainsaw in the top of it. But then I've drilled down a hole into the centre of it and connected it with a hole just there. So you get, you get a decent airflow that goes up through it. I've put four screws into it so I can just sit a pan on top of it and you can cook on it and it, it won't spread, won't cause a <laughs> local fire. Yeah. And when you're done with it, I can just roll it into the stream and put it yeah. out. Joe is going to hot smoke the rabbit loins. Firstly, he cures them, sprinkling on a mixture of salt, sugar, star anise, bay leaf and black pepper. I'll just give it 15 or so minutes in that just to firm it up and it'll take the smoke a little bit better. Of course, you can't have a proper meal in the woods without something decent to drink. True to form, Joe has that yeah. in hand. Blackberry wine that I made seven years ago, about 13%, I think. I thought we might try a bit of that. Tastes pretty good. Yeah, tastes um, quite porty, actually, to yeah. be fair. Yeah, it's really nice. The rabbit has been curing for about 15 minutes, so it's time to rinse off the cure and get the smoker going. All it is is a pan, a bit of tin foil in the bottom just to try and protect the pan more than anything. And then I've got an old chip pan grill inside it, just inverted. And then all I'm putting inside is half a cup of rice, three tablespoons of brown sugar and a tablespoon of Lapsang Souchon tea. And that just goes into the bottom of the pan. And then I'll lay the fillets on top. Like so. Put a bit of tin foil just to seal the pan. And then we'll pop it on the rocket stove. Fifteen minutes later, the rabbit is cooked through and smelling delicious. Joe serves it up on bread with a sauce he prepared earlier. Parsley, basil, mint, garlic, capers, anchovies, olive oil. Just all mixed up and made it last night. Just quite a nice sauce to go with. Game. Just adds a little bit of something extra. There we have it. Tastes great, it's just sort of a delicate smoky flavour, but then the green sauce really sets it off well. Mm. Not bad for the woods. <laughs> That's just for starters. Next, Joe fries up muntjac and roe fillets. He covers them in foil and leaves them to rest for 10 minutes while he fries an onion and stirs in a few spoonfuls of homemade plum jam to make a chutney. Then he serves it all up in pita bread. That munchak is so good. You're up next. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's the roe tenderloin, cooked nice and quickly. Bit of salad, bit of pita bread, onions, and then homemade plum jam just mixed up to make a bit of a sauce. Tastes great. You can find Joe on Instagram, link below.